Tonight we are, I'm going to work on a birthday present. I'm doing my leaf mold. Uh, glitter on it here. Why does it have glitter on it? Of course it has glitter on it, right? Why wouldn't it have? It's in my art room. It should always have glitter. Except when you're giving it to somebody that may not want glitter. see here. I've had this mold for a long time. A couple years. Probably one of the first molds I've ever bought. Alright. So I've got my resin mixed up here. And what we're going to do is I'm going to add emerald green black diamond mica powder. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Okay, I'll wipe my stick off here. I don't want to put my stick in my mica powder with resin on it. All right, I'm just going to move this up here out of the way. I see another piece of glitter. All right. Actually, I think I'm going to do it two different colors. Let me grab another cup. I'm going to split this. There we go. And we are going to do... We're gonna do silver. We're gonna do green and silver. Alright, so let's add some green to this one. And do a little bit more. Okay. Look at that color. Oh, that's beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay, so we have that one. I have resin all over my hands. All right, now I don't. Okay, put the lid back on that so I don't spill it everywhere. I end up with mica everywhere. And we're going to dump quite a bit in here. There we go. I'll be right back, guys. Okay, we are back. So we are going to pour our resin here. And basically what we're going to do... Can you see me here, guys? There we go. Okay, now we're going to switch hands. And we're going to do it the opposite. Okay. And then we'll pour the rest. 
rest of the green in here. All right, so we will be back when this is done in a few moments and see what we got. Guys, we're back. I'm pretty sure this is cured enough. We can go ahead and take it out. Still a little bit bendy, but I come out here earlier and about an hour ago, and I was like, oh, I'm going to give it another hour. I'm just excited to see it, I guess. Here's the geckos. <laughs> Guess it's that time of year. I have a lot of geckos around my house. I have a screened-in porch, and you can just see them, all the little lizards all the time running all over the screened-in, the screen on the outside and the inside. They're pretty cool. I keep them around. I have one in my house. It just kind of runs loose in the kitchen. Because in that my kitchen, I have like, like a area in my kitchen window where he can get out. And uh, I used to have an issue with ants, like little piss ants or whatever they call them. I used to have an issue with those. Not anymore. I haven't had an issue with those ever since that little gecko come in. Alright. We ready to demold this, guys. We ready to demold this. Oh, come on. Come on. There we go. It's hard to get out of these little inside piece here there we go come on down to the center there one more here We're out. We are out, guys. Oh, this is perfect. Oh, that is beautiful. That turned out gorgeous. Wow. Yeah, it's a little bit bendy still, but look at the colors. The silver and the green together. That turned out so pretty. Oh, that's beautiful, beautiful. I love that. I kind of want to do this top edge though in silver. This is nice. Got the little notches. The notches came out perfect. I don't have any. Well, I have one bubble right here. Actually, no, I don't. Hang on, I want to see if I have one. I have one right here little bitty one actually no I don't think it is that was even a bubble Actually, looks like it might have been something where I flipped it over that's perfect all right so I'm gonna grab my marker right quick here my silver marker and we're gonna go around the edge with silver this top edge here well I was so sick last night uh I made something I made, uh, we don't make like Chinese food very often, but we had, uh, chicken fried rice, chicken flavored fried rice with vegetables, and I like, I don't know why, but in my Chinese food, if I'm going to have it, I like sesame oil, and usually what I do, if I'm going to have it, if I know I'm going to have it, and we're going to put chicken in it, I would 
just put a little bit of sesame oil in the pan when I cooked the chicken. Well, last night when I made the rice, I thought, oh, I'll be, I'll just put a little bit of the sesame oil in with the rice. That's the only thing I could think of that would have done it, because, um, uh, I was sick. Oh, my God. Stomach cramp and sick to my stomach. It was horrible. Horrible, horrible. And, uh, I said something to my grandson this morning about it, and we looked on that sesame oil, and it had been expired for two years. It's a wonder I didn't get myself food poisoning out of it. I need to say, it got thrown away. I knew I'd had it a little while. I didn't, didn't realize I'd had it for two years. So, yeah. Don't eat sesame oil. It's two years out of date. It was almost three years out of date, honestly. It was way far. So I didn't get a video out last night, but gotta deal with what you gotta deal with, you know. But I'm back, and I feel much better today. Although I wasn't feeling too great earlier this evening, still I'm not like back to normal 100%. So. Uh, the grandson was working, so tonight I just had soup for dinner. I was like, I didn't feel like anything heavy. I was like, yeah, something easy on the stomach. Let's have a bowl of soup. I had a nice conversation with the gentleman from down the street. I've only talked to him one other time. And he came down tonight. And, uh, I was sitting out at the table with another friend. We were all sitting out there talking, and he come down, and he said that we talked for probably a good hour. Nice guy. First time I've ever really talked to him. He's all right. Do you do I sound hesitant guys? I'm sorry. I don't know. I think I developed stupid crushes on people I shouldn't and people I'll never meet. Oh my god. Sounds weird, huh? I guess that way, though, I don't have to deal with them. <laughs> if I just have a crush on them, I'm like, ah, ah. Of course, we all have, like, our movie star crushes, you know. TV star crushes that we grew up watching and we had crushes on. I had crushes on some really weird characters, though, I'm not lying. I was probably my biggest crush growing up on TV. <laughs> don't laugh. Please don't laugh. You guys are going to laugh at me. I know you are. Somebody's going to laugh at me. It was Gilligan. I, I don't know. I just, Maybe it was the motherly instinct. I wanted to protect Gilligan. I thought everybody was so mean to Gilligan. I thought he's just trying, guys. <laughs> you know, I was like, I got I used to get upset. I did not like the skipper at all. At all. And then my other crush was a character off of an old gothic soap opera. There were two of them, actually. 
on that show. Um, it was a gothic soap opera back in the 19, late 60s, early 70s. And I remember being a little kid and I remember watching that. And even now I watch it. And Barnabas Collins, he's a vampire. And uh, I had a crush on him. <laughs> and then I had a crush on uh, Quentin Collins. Part of this was my favorite, but Quentin, Quentin was good looking too. But yeah, I just, something about Gilligan, I don't know what it was, it was something about Gilligan. But, yeah, now it's more music related. I think I might have a fangirl crush on Ren. Probably my biggest music crush right now. Hmm. I don't know. I would have probably said Ivan Moody from Five Finger Death Punch, but I don't know. Now I'm kind of feeling Ren. <laughs> kind of liking Ren. I don't know. There's another guy too in uh, Ohio that I actually I've followed him for a long time. He's not really crazy famous or anything yet, but he's really really good. Mick Blankenship. He's a cutie too. Of course, he's married, got wife and kids and everything. But, yeah. Alright. Now that you've listened to me ran on about all my crushes I had over the years, what do we think? I think he's going to love it. Yeah. And it'll have a couple days to cure because him and his wife are off. It's his birthday weekend and their anniversary. I was like, how smart is she? She got married on his birthday, so he would never be able to forget her their anniversary. Makes sense to me, guys. Hey. But they are off on a weekend, so when they get back, I'm going to give him this for his birthday. Turned out gorgeous, gorgeous. All right, guys. If you like this video, whoops, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, perfect time. You know, look what we make here. Uh, <laughs> hope everyone has a wonderful night. Hope your resin cures beautiful. Your craft projects turn out amazing. I hope you are all happy, healthy, safe, and blessed. I'll see you guys tomorrow night.